Hey, what's up team? Eddie Gray here and we're back in it again. Today I'm going to be talking about Guitar Rig 6 and specifically I'm speaking to one of my subscribers, Ulinton Alives Jr. Here he mentions, hello, can you explain how to set up MIDI controller and change presets with it inside of Guitar Rig 6? Well, I did some research and you'll find that essentially the only compatible controller is rig control and i believe this is an old iteration but it's still compatible but really this is just a midi signal when i looked inside of the native instruments website and i dug in a little bit further i found essentially this concept called program change but it was only relevant to massive and, and other instruments like that and then I read the manual. If you haven't checked out the Guitar Rig 6 manual read-through that I did, you might want to check that out. But here it says, the slider controls volume from the minimum, right, zero fully left, to the maximum fully right. This is perfectly suited to be controlled by the rig control, which you just saw a second ago, or any MIDI foot pedal. So I've got in my possession the Boss FS. 5U, and I'm connecting it with a tip ring sleeve balance cable into my keyboard in the sustained. I also have expression. And so when we go to DAW, in my case Logic, you can see that when I press it at the very top on the LCD screen, that I am triggering MIDI, specifically CC64. So whereas it was usually uh, uh triggering sustain right now it's triggering um the pedal right and so now i have to assign this pedal so this one of my subs he asked hey can i change presets and you can't really do that inside of logic but i have found a workaround so if you go to some of the old documentation for guitar rig 5 you no longer can control this the way that you once could you could usually go in here and you can tell Guitar Rig 6 what to control. It doesn't work like that anymore. And by the way, if you want to import your Guitar Rig 5 user presets, you can do that right there. Okay, so that being said, I've got a guitar line here. And we know how Guitar Rig works, right? We instantiate it. And then, we, you know, we turn it on. Here's before. And here's after. So it sounds well enough, but the concept is, is if you have a guitar in your hand, you don't want to keep reaching back for the keyboard. Is there a way that I can program a foot controller so I can change the presets? Well, the short answer is no, there is not a way. Um, if I use a, a learn message, so if I click, you know, command L inside of logic and you try and program it to either let me highlight the user preset menu here or the guitar rig preset menu here so inside of the logic gui you can change presets here right you can go to the preset menu and do that whole usual thing and um inside of gr6 we can change the presets here but these are not midi compatible they're not midi messages so started doing a little bit of research and I came across two potential fixes that can possibly work. Now you're going to need the FS5U. You got to connect it. I believe it's a balance cable. That's the way I have it connected. And here's what you need to do. You need to go into your key command window. Option K is the key command in logic. Again, this is, you know, good for all DAWs, but you need to find the equivalent of next patch plugin setting or sampler instrument. And so for us in Logic, it's basically the, the bracket key forward and back. And how I know that is because I'm hitting the keys and you can see that the key commands are being highlighted. And so what I'm going to do now is I currently have a key command assigned to it, right? But I need to assign a key position or a new assignment. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to click learn new assignment and then I'm going to click on the sustain pedal. Okay. And so then now 
I need you to think about this with me. We are inside of Guitar Rig 6, but really we're inside of the Logic plugin, right? And if I hit this now, we're now going to change into whatever the next preset is, okay? So you'll notice that I'm now I'm inside of Basic Chicago, right? And now I'm inside of Dirty Studio Bass, and this keeps moving forward every single time I trigger this. So this is something that you can do with your feet. Obviously, I'm just, for demo purposes, showing you guys. But it's as simple as that. You just trigger that, set it up. Now, what if you wanted to perform? That you're, you, know, you have a song, the verse is quiet, you're doing something clean, and then the chorus comes in, and you want to get epic. How do you do that? How can I... Because here we're just moving into the next preset. The, the reason this is working, I just want to be clear, is because we're utilizing the key command in Logic, which allows us to move to the next preset, right? So we're just sending a MIDI message, and this is just literally going to whatever the next preset is. Well, this isn't going to help you for performing live, and you, and you want to play a set, right? So here is my suggestion to you, all right? I want you to utilize performance patches. Now, this is something that if you're not a deep logic geek, you don't know about this, okay? Guys, I've spent lifetimes, hours, hours, and hours reading every single book on Logic Pro. My company, hfmusicacademy.com, we just proofread the entire Pro Tools uh, 2020 GEM manual, which is coming out soon, so look out for that. We're very deep in this world of academics and, and you know, we're reading manuals and we're, we're trying to give people the best information possible. So performance patches, let me go ahead and pull that up. If you look at the logic manual, it says here, performance patches are designed to make it easy for you to play multiple articulations of a specific percussion instrument with a MIDI keyboard. Performance patches include a small number of related instruments, such as several shakers with articulations assigned to individual keys. This approach differs from other percussion patches that contain a larger variety of percussion instruments. Now, look, if you don't see these, it's just simply because you haven't turned them on. So I have two tracks, audio and MIDI, and you have to instantiate them both on each track. So here I am, and I'm going to save as performance. So let's go ahead and save metalcore stereo. Sounds like this. So let's say that was your intro or something, right? So I'm going to go ahead, save as performance, and I'm going to call this intro. And then let's just pretend that, let's go ahead and hit the key command here. All right, let's, uh, that creamy snowflakes. This is a wonderful preset, probably one of my favorites. Now we're gonna save this as a performance patch, okay? So then I'm gonna go back in here. Now, I should say something really quick. You wanna make sure that the disclosure triangle is highlighted around the settings up here, the channel strip settings. So I just wanna be clear, because if this triangle is in a different area, you're gonna get different information. All right, so then we're back up, right? And then I'm going to save this as verse. Let's just pretend that this is our verse. Uh, wait, I saved that as a channel strip setting. That's different than a performance patch, to be clear. All right, so then we'll save this as verse. So then now what's happening is I'm going to be able to go from one preset to the other to the other. Okay, so now I just want to be clear about something. The only reason this is happening is because my DAW is allowing me to MIDI map this inside of GR6, I can control click a parameter. It's true. And I can learn that it's true. And I can grab a slider, let's say, and you know, you can map that. That that's the usual behavior. That's what we would expect of our DAW. Now it's not happening for me right now, but it's awesome when it does. But that's the idea. All you got to do is control click and then boom, it should be ready to go. Let's see if I can get one of these working. No, not really. Okay, but that's basically how it works, right? So with that being said, the reason this is happening is because the key command forward bracket allows me to search through the presets. So you can see I'm searching through all the various presets. Now, bear in mind right now, I currently have 
Guitar Rig 6 in key focus. How do I know? Look at the outline. See how it's white? This means that Logic is focusing on it. If I click outside of the GUI, you see that now something else is in focus. So if, when I click on this and I start to hit the key command, then Guitar Rig starts to change its presets kind of in an internal way, right? So then now, if I want to change the performance patches, then the, the, the focus will not be inside of Guitar Rig. It's going to be elsewhere. Let me give you an example. If I'm in this MIDI track, right? And I click on keyboards and big dripper. If my focus is inside of the channel strip setting and I hit command, I'm sorry, forward bracket, the next preset over is Boogeyman Piano. I'm going to hit it again. And so you can see how this is relevant. So long as Logic knows where to move and how to think, then it can perform for you. So what I'm saying is to develop these performance patches. Let's say this is something I wanted to do, not with Guitar Rig, but inside of MIDI. Then I would save this as a performance patch. And we're not necessarily using it the way it was designed, but still, it's, it's cool. So again, this would be the intro of my song. And then let me just do one more. Let's just do something uh, like some mallets. And then now this is the verse. Again, when it's time to get ready to perform, I would go inside of the channel strip settings and I would go into performance. Here, let me just, per let me just save one more really quick. Uh, all this or save as performance. Here we go. And let's call this chorus. Just indulge me for a second, but you get the concept, right? So now, you know, we're playing our song. You know, we're, we're in the verse. Say you got your foot pedal. You don't want to get your hands off. You can either hit the forward bracket or if you want to have your foot pedal, just make sure that this is assigned to the, the same key that it was assigned to before. Let me just make sure I still have that assignment. Learn new assignment. Okay, good. And so you're playing your song. And again, you've got this on your foot. All of a sudden you get to that next section. And now because... The library is in focus and specifically the channel strip settings right here. Now you're able to move from preset to preset to preset or performance patch, performance patch to performance patch. So for me, it was being a little bit buggy with Guitar Rig 6 and the performance patches, but I'll show you that I did create a couple. If I go to patches, I'm sorry, channel strip settings, because these are. So this is where it gets confusing because, you know, on the left-hand side, you see that it says clearly patches and then channel strip settings. But this is a performance patch, which is found inside of the channel strip settings. And there are a lot of incongruities inside of the library. And if you want to learn more, uh, hit support at hfmusicacademy.com. We've got some great resources. I have a document that can help you out and help you really understand the library. Support at hfmusicacademy.com. So that being said, if I now go into performance and I start with the intro, uh, let's go with test number one. So you can see I'm turning this on. I'm going to double click it. Okay, so I've got my patch. And again, this is connected. I don't know if it's going to work, but let me hit the forward bracket just so you get the idea. And then this is supposed to go to the next performance patch. It did. I'm going to try this again. This might botch, but we're going to give it a go. Ready? Time bomb. Boom. And nothing. Let's try one more time. Oh, there it goes right. Th oh, and it crashed. All right. Anyway, you get the point, team. If you have a MIDI controller, you assign it to the appropriate key command. I know with Ableton and other DAWs, it's really easy to do as well. Take the time to learn your DAW. If you do that, it will return its weight in gold. Uh, we're going to be learning logic on this channel quite extensively. We're going to be looking at recording guitars and recording MIDI, being better mixers and just learning how to master, just learn all things music production. So if you like the content, go ahead and like and subscribe. I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you very much for watching, taking the time. All I ask is one thing. If you could just send this to somebody else that might benefit from it, or perhaps you can tell them to go check out our online academy, hfmusicacademy.com. That's a fair trade for me. So I appreciate you guys. Have a great day. Have a great week. If you have any more requests, go ahead and hit me up.
Keep your frequency high. See ya.